Hey there. Well, I'm sorry for the quality of my camera, but guess what? Our house got struck by lightning and it fried a bunch of stuff. So I'm using this crazy thing. But I wanted to show you something anyway. So the other day my dad was visiting and I told him that I wanted to create antipode layers for maps. Antipode just means where the exact opposite side of the earth is. So kind of like mirroring the earth to say if I drilled a hole straight through, you know, where would I pop up, that kind of thing. And he loves this kind of puzzle. We were talking about the geometry involved, like what would be the geometric steps to actually flip that? Because it's not quite as simple as you think it might be. He's 80 and he looked at this globe and he thought, you know, it'd be pretty simple to make a mechanism. So he's thinking completely analog. And this was a really great insight. He said, if we had a machine where if you put a pen down here, it would simply depress it on the exact opposite side. And if you traced, it would sketch out the antipode on the other side of the globe. It'd be a simple machine, John. And I thought, yeah, well, I mean, it's not simple for me, but maybe we can do this digitally. And so I looked at that idea. It would have to be an inversion of the vertical dimension. So we'd have to mirror the vertical dimension and then we would have to slide over half the earth. So we'd have to translate over 180 degrees. So inverting the vertical dimension, sliding over 180 degrees in the longitudinal direction. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Bert Nelson. So here we are in ArcGIS Pro, and I've got a layer of countries, and then I made a copy of this layer, and I just named it uh, Antipode. And the reason I made a copy is because we're gonna use the editing tools, and that will change the source layer. And I wanted to keep my beautiful countries layer pristine. So I made a copy. I'm gonna go into the Edit tab, and I'm gonna choose Modify. Now that first step, we walked through with that uh, beautiful globe that Danielle got me for my birthday one year. It's from the 1980s. It's a really sweet old globe. We need to create a vertical mirror. So conveniently, there is a tool in here called Mirror. So here we are with Mirror. I'll turn off my equator reference. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to make a global selection here. Everything. Now, by the way, I should mention, I'm working in WGS84. It's not a projected coordinate system, and that's important. So I've selected everything, and I'm gonna choose two clicks, and I've got equator here as a reference. So my two clicks to mirror this are gonna be this part of the equator to the other end of the equator. And the result is a duplication of my input, except it's just been flipped vertically, upside down, across the equator. Isn't that great? Now I need to get rid of the non-flipped stuff. So I'll open the attribute table, and I'm just going to switch the selection. And then I'll just delete everything. This gets rid of the input shapes and only keeps my mirrored, my vertically mirrored shapes. We're done with step one, and it's a, pretty much a two-step process. You ready? Next is an option called move to and once again i'll select everything and instead of an absolute move which i i could do i'm just going to use delta which means change it by the difference from beginning to destination and for the longitude i'll choose 180 degrees just shift it over half of the distance of the earth okay now you'll notice oh no oh, I'm lost all the polygons that have spilled off the proverbial edge of the world. But we can fix this. We can bring them back. Don't worry. I'll just use the magical repair geometry tool. Repair geometry. First, I'll save it. And then I'll say, hey, could you please magically fix everything? And look at that. Not only are the countries back, but it's no longer spilling off the edge of the world, but wrapping back around but wrapping back around to a global content. Here, let me show you the original layer for context. We now have an anti, we now have an antipode layer. So now we can just reproject this to whatever we want because it's spatially sentient. So I'll just uh, pick equal earth. See, equal earth, it's happy to project. One of my favorites is always the world from space, which is a pseudo 3D looking thing. Make no mistake, it's 2D. 
but check this out. I mean, Antarctica right up here. You get it. This is the antipode. It's fascinating and I like it. Now the question is, can we look at it in 3D? Sure, let's do this. Convert to global scene. I have a globe with its antipode layer. Now I was struck by just how non-overlapping the land antipodes are. It's insane. Such little overlap. Okay, while we're here, let's just do a fun thing with masking. I'll turn these guys off and I'll, hmm, let's do a base map of, oh man, I never do this, but we're gonna do the default base map of topographic. Good old topographic base map. Then we'll add in world imagery image tiles from Living Atlas. And then the imagery tiles I'll mask using the antipodes. Now we have sort of a hybrid x-ray vision version of our antipodes. Let me zoom in a little. Give this a shot if you're feeling dangerous and start making antipode references because it's fun and it could be a good educational resource for folks. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.